Let's now take a look at the graph of F double prime and make similar conclusions about F. Now, from F double prime, we cannot conclude anything about F being increasing or decreasing because for that, we need F prime. And if you have F double prime, we have to go up the ladder of derivatives and we can't do that yet. We also can't say anything about the max or min of the function because again, we have to go back up the ladder. But what we can talk about are the second derivative analyses. So let's take a look at where f has inflection points and where f is concave up and concave down based upon the graph of f double prime. Let's start with concavity. f is concave up when f double prime is positive. Now this is the graph of f double prime. And so the graph of f double prime is positive when it is above the x-axis. So f is concave up on the interval from a to c because the graph of f double prime is positive. It's also positive to the right of e. So from e to infinity this graph is positive over here and that is f double prime. f is concave down when f double prime is negative. Now f double prime is negative to the left of a because the graph is below the x-axis. So from negative infinity to a, this graph is concave down, or the graph of f is concave down because the graph of f double prime is below the x-axis. And also from c to e, the graph of f double prime is negative and therefore f is concave down. So this is also concave down from c to e. Now, where does f have inflection points? Where well, f have, has inflection points when f double prime changes sign. f double prime changes sign here when it crosses through the x-axis because this is the graph of f double prime. f double prime is negative when this graph is below the x-axis and f double prime is positive when this graph is above the x-axis. And therefore, this graph changes sign when it crosses through the x-axis. This occurs at A, C, and at E. At A, F goes from concave down to concave up. At C, F goes from concave up to concave down. And at E, F goes from concave down to concave up. So F has inflection points at X equals a, C, and E. And that is the most that we can do at this point with the graph of F double prime.